The Honorable Minister of Foreign Affairs, His Excellency Geoffrey Onyama, has received members of the African Union Election Observer Mission to the February 25th general election led by the former President of Kenya, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, as part of efforts and commitment made by the Union to ensuring a peaceful, free and fair election in Nigeria. Uhuru Kenyatta expressed their undiluted commitment as an observer team to ensuring the results reflect the will of the public in choosing their choice candidate without hindrance, while working together with INEC to achieve this objective. Members and brothers and sisters from the African continent to affirm Nigeria's commitment as the largest democracy on the African continent and your commitment to democracy, to the rule of law and to active democratic practices that allow the people at intervening periods to be able to elect for themselves the leaders of their choice. I want at the very onset uh, just to say one thing which I have noted uh, in particular and that is uh, President Buhari's personal commitment towards ensuring a free, fair and transparent election. This is something he has been talking about at various intervals, many not actually thinking he would actually see it through, but we are here today and seeing that he has lived true to his word. We are here to see that those words turn into reality in the next few days. We are here to walk together with our brothers and sisters of Nigeria as they exercise that fundamental right, which is their democratic right to choose freely their leaders without hindrance and without encumbrances. There are many challenges, and we all know that. And those challenges are not peculiar to Nigeria. There are challenges that uh, for one reason or another, affect various parts of the world, and not just Africa. We've seen similar challenges in the exercise of people's democratic rights being experienced even in established democracies like the United States. So we, we must recognize that there will be challenges. But at the end of the day, what we want is that the eventual outcome of these elections reflects the will of the people of this great country of Nigeria. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Geoffrey Onyama, in his response to the visit by the team, appreciated the Union for their continued sacrifice for Nigeria aimed at strengthening democracy in the nation. I, I wish at the very outset, uh, on behalf of uh, the President and the people of Nigeria, and I would indeed say the people of Africa, to extend our deepest appreciation and congratulations to you uh, on the phenomenal role you play as president of uh, Kenya, uh, not just for your achievements uh, in Kenya, but uh, taking the country from a very precarious uh, position uh, to truly a thriving uh, uh, economy and a thriving uh, country. And, um, and I'm sure the people of Kenya can ask Thank you enough for that, but also as a um, fellow African country, uh, we also wish to uh, thank you enormously for that, and also for your role uh, as, um, as an African leader, and what you did uh, during uh, your mandate uh, for, for Africa. So, uh, Mr. President, really, thank you very, very much indeed, and um, Africa uh, owes you, and I think Kenya owes you a big debt of gratitude. Uh, for, for, for truly what you have, uh, what you've done, and we're extremely proud uh, of you, and uh, and also the way you uh, have really respected the principles of democracy and practices. So thank you very much. A great model uh, for Africa. 
the Commissioner for Peace and Security in the African Union, His Excellency Bankole Adeoye, says the African Union remains the hope for constitutionalism and a guide to democracy. The African Union remains the hope and the hope for constitutionalism, for the rule of law, and for promoting democracy. We are here to see democracy at work. We are here to safeguard democracy. And as His Excellency, former President has stated, and uh, the Honorable Minister, we believe that Nigeria will continue to be a shining light for the upholding of democracy. Africa's largest democracy, Africa's largest economy must remain stable, must remain in the family of the African Union, must remain in the community of nations that are democratic for us to promote the peaceful and stable continent. Norma Omeje.